The deaths of one of Northern Ireland's richest men and three others in a helicopter crash were accidental, a jury decided. Lord Bally Edmund, a member of his staff and two personal pilot were killed shortly after takeoff in Norfolk. Pilots Carl Dickerson and Lee Hoyle, expressed concerns before takeoff in March 2014, the jury in Norwich heard. Coroner Jacqueline Lake said she would be raising concerns over regulations controlling flights from private land. The inquest was told Lord Bally Edmund, born Edward Hoggy, made regular visits from Northern Ireland to check progress on the refurbishment of his stately home Gillingham Hall, in his Augusta Westland AW139 helicopter. Fog closed in. On March 13, 2014, he was delayed in taking off because he had been overseeing the hanging of pictures, the hearing was told. Mr. Dickerson had warned they needed to take off no later than 7 p.m. because of bad weather, but the four, including Lord Balladman's foreman Declan Small, 42, did not take off until 1922, by which time fog had closed in. Air Accidents Investigation Branch, AAIB, expert Tim Atkinson told the hearing that in such conditions the helicopter would not have been allowed to take off from a licensed aerodrome. The jury saw video mobile phone pictures of the helicopter, which was found to have no mechanical defects, preparing for takeoff from the helipad, during which the pilots decided to disengage the autopilot. In the footage, one of the pilots said, I don't mind telling you I'm not very happy about lifting out of here. The other replies, it should be okay because you can still see the moon. Moments after the words nose down were spoken from the cockpit, the helicopter plowed into a line of hay bales in a field near the takeoff site. Preventable accident. The inquest heard the two pilots were experienced but there was no evidence either had been trained in taking off vertically in low visibility. Following the verdict, a statement was read out on behalf of the families of Lord Bally Edmund and Mr. Small. It read it is still a mystery why the pilots did not comply with the operations manual and adopt safe takeoff procedures or why they chose to deselect the autopilot while attempting to take off, at night, in dense fog. The families continue to believe after this week of evidence that this was a preventable accident.